Welcome. This is nutritional pharmacist Melissa Galladay. I am a registered pharmacist with a passion for nutrition. Really happy to be here with you this evening. We do these calls three times weekly. We do a call on Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Pacific time, also 6 p.m. Pacific time, and then we repeat an evening call Thursdays, 6 p.m. Pacific time. So you're always welcome to post questions down below. We also encourage you to like or dislike this video. We want some feedback. And please, if you're watching this, whenever that may be, let us know where you are. Post your city and state, city, state, country. We enjoy that. And yes, so the last show we did was on the 4th of July, a couple days ago. And we discussed acid suppressors and the effect that they have on the GI tract. And to recap that message, what happens when we take acid suppressors is we actually reduce the acid in our stomach and that leads to problems with our digestion. So we never want to reduce the acids in our stomach unless we are healing from an ulcer. So very short-term use of acid suppressors is appropriate, but long-term use is not. And actually, if you look at literature, it'll actually tell you that on these pharmaceutical agents. So again, if you're dealing with a bleeding ulcer, something of that caliber, acid suppressors can come in really handy. Or if you have immediate indigestion, I actually recommend Tums or Rolaids for immediate indigestion. And what that's going to do is just uh, temporarily decrease the acid in your stomach. And but it will be it will be relieved when your body clears it. your body will be able to reboost the acid production. Unlike the other medications that are available, such as Zantac, Prilosec, Prevacid, when you take those, they have a lot, a much longer half-life in your stomach, and they cause a long-term reduction, and those are things you do not want to do. So if you are having a digestion, again, you want to look at short-term use, such as Tums or Rolaids. We did get a question about rehydration and remineralization when we're out there doing a lot of hot summer work, which most of us are. We're having a pretty big heat wave across the country, um, currently in Denver, Colorado right now, and I can tell you guys it was about 100 degrees today. It's recently dropped down to 85, which is pretty fun, but, um, you know, it's still hot. And for those of you out there sweating, you want to definitely rehydrate. And in addition to that, you want to realize that your body, the, the water that's in your body actually isn't just H2O. It also has a bunch of minerals in it. And those minerals are very essential to the whole electromagnetic flow of your body. And when we deplete our minerals, it leads to a bunch of other problems. And one of the places your body gets those minerals is actually from your skeleton. And the body will leach the minerals from the skeleton to help balance out the uh, electromagnetic supply that it needs to, to help it remineralize itself, if you will. If you were to take all the minerals out of your body, you, you would die instantly. So these are, a little, these are a little magnetic charges that are in your body, and if you don't have them, you know, a lot, all the processes that we're aware of in our body aren't able to happen. So that's why when we look at things, that's why when we look at athletes, we'll see them drinking things such as Gatorade or Powerade. Yet, nevertheless, you know, I've studied the biochemistry of what the body needs, and that's nowhere near the spectrum that you need to replenish. You actually need, if you look at the biochemistry, you need 60 essential minerals. That's what life requires and demands to, to be at, at its maximum performance. And if you're not getting those replenished, then you're going to start having problems. And you're going to notice that in things such as maybe headaches, uh, leg cramps, muscle fatigue, uh, just basic lethargy. So, like I mentioned, you know, I was traveling today and it was a very full day. Flew out of uh, Phoenix, Arizona around 5 a.m. this morning. It's now 5 p.m. in Arizona, so it's been a 12 hour day. And I was amazed. I was able to, you know, nutriate myself midday and it just changed everything. You know, it, no caffeine, just giving myself the essential nutrients that I need, and I found my energy come back very quickly. So the brain is an electromagnetic organ. That's how it operates, too. It sends signals all around via the electromagnetic pulsing that it gets. So these are just some tips for you to you know think about out there, especially in the summertime, summer 2017. We're all going to be getting hot, 
and we want to replenish and regenerate our body. We do do these calls, uh, like I said, three times a week. We love questions. We love any sort of biochemical questions, also pharmaceutical questions. And I want you guys to understand that why I'm here and I spend my time here is to get the message out that I'm here to help you master your own biochemistry. And once you master your own biochemistry, you're going to be able to take it from there. So you're going to learn things about your body. You're going to learn things about the disease label that your doctors might have put on you. And once you learn these things, you're going to be empowered to take appropriate action. So things such as getting old, that's, that's optional in this culture and this awareness that we have now. There's no such thing as you know having to get old and suffer. There's definitely a chronological age, etc. Those things are going to happen. Nevertheless, suffering is optional. And as a pharmacist, I spent a lot of time on the front lines seeing people get continue to get decrepit and literally deteriorate before my eyes, my very eyes. And as I started this conversation, I was discussing acid blockers. And let's get real, if you're on those long term, you're suppressing the acid, you're not absorbing the nutrients. And so what I was actually watching, I was watching people, they weren't getting nutrified and they were literally crumbling and deteriorating. And those of you that are in the medical system, you already know this, the people that work in the medical system or those of you that have had a lot of experience in the medical system as patients, you know that this, you know, there's a lot of broken things in there. I love acute medicine, I support it wholeheartedly, and it really has, it does amazing things, and that's, you know, a dialogue that I definitely enjoy having. Yet, when we're talking chronic conditions, long-term pharmaceutical use is not going to help you. Chronic conditions, you know, there, you need to start looking at what you're eating, you look, you need to start looking at what you're nutriating, and you're going to find that with that knowledge, you're going to be able to make decisions on a daily basis to help yourself. So please keep that in mind. And it was been it's always a pleasure and I look forward to hearing from you and enjoy your evening. Bye bye.